Hello and welcome to JSON Path tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to understand about the JSON Path notation. So, in the previous tutorial, we had covered a brief about JSON, uh, what is JSON, and then what is JSON Path, and then um, we dig deeper, uh, a little bit deeper into the uh, technicalities and the advantages of both um, JSON and JSON Path. Now, in this tutorial, we'll understand what is JSON path notation? So JSON path notation is nothing but it is used to fetch the nodes and their connections or their child nodes, uh, adjacent nodes in the JSON document or JSON file or response. So any JSON document or any JSON format that you have, JSON path notation is the way to fetch the node or the child node that you're looking for in that particular JSON document. Now there are two ways um, two styles of JSON path notation. The first one is the dot notation, which you can see here as an example uh, dollar dot data, uh, the zero index, and then the GID. And the second one is the bracket notation, wherein instead of dot, we are using the bracket, the square brackets. Both of these notations will return the same results. So it's just the way that you prefer, you can utilize that and they'll return the same values uh, from, from the example that you see here. So in the right hand side, I have the sample JSON. So if you see, uh, this is the sample JSON. And if we talk about a little bit about the JSON path notation, say, for example, the dot notation, you can see the dollar, which represents the root node, which is basically the curly brace bracket at the top here, right? So that, that's where the dollar or the root node starts. Right, that's where the uh, the whole document is starting, the JSON document, and then the child node. So basically, to represent the child node from the root node, you start with the dot. Uh, in the dot notation, you start with a dot, and then the child node. So next node is basically the data. So that's why we have um, mentioned here dot data, and then the data has the five because it's an array. If you see the uh, square bracket here that's an array which contains five objects or dictionaries. So the curly braces uh, here, these you can say either dictionary or objects which have certain um, elements here, right? For example, GID name, resource type, etc. So when we say data, dot zero, uh, data zero, which is the index of the first element, right? So which will, this will fetch the first element of this data array. Okay, so and then we are again saying with, within this first element, we are again saying dot the child of this first element. Okay, so dot GID. So we are basically in this node when we come into this first element here, right? Then we are fetching the GID. So that's the first notation. Now coming back to the bracket notation. It is pretty similar. Instead of dot, we just replace it with the um, square bracket. Okay, and then in the single quotes, we put the single uh, the data or uh, the element that is there, um, the the nodes that are there into the single quotes, and then rest all remain same. So basically, your index still remains same, and then uh, within the next bracket, you just put in single quote whatever value you are trying to fetch. Now let's use these examples and go to the JSON path online evaluator. So in this JSON path online evaluator, we have copied the JSON that is there on the screen here, right? So this is the sample JSON that I'm working with. So I have already copied that on JSON path online evaluator. And now let's try to fetch the results using the dot notation and the bracket notation. So to start with dollar is the root node. Now you can see in the evaluation results as, as soon as I put dollar, you can see the whole file getting listed or whole document getting listed. Now to fetch the child node, if I put dot and then data, okay? So again, you can see the whole document getting fetched now, if I want to fetch the first element, which is basically the index zero, I just provide zero and then close the square braces. Now, I want the next, I want the value of GID in the first element. So just put 
GID. And now you can see that particular value of the GID has been fetched using the dot notation. Now going back to the uh, bracket notation, we will delete it. Now it will again start with the dollar, the root node, and then the bracket, single quote, and we'll say data, and again single quote, close brace bracket, and open square bracket, and provide the index. So for example, in this scenario, I'm looking for GID or name, which is at the second uh, position or second index. So I'll put one, okay, and then again square bracket and then put the name okay so again single quotes and put name close the single quote and close the bracket so this is the second notation so dot notation and the bracket notation so the result will be similar if you change it to um, say zero which is which was the first example that we took gid so it's returning 62676 in the bracket notation. If we change it to dot notation, dot data, and then the index dot GID, you will see 62676 is the evaluation result. So it doesn't matter which notation you use, you will get the same evaluation result. Now, using the same evaluation in your SOAP UI, okay, you can directly use this and go to SOAP UI and in the assertion you can try to practice these so if I go and copy and paste this in the JSON path expression click on select from current it will fetch that same result if I change it to bracket notation and change it to just rename all the things as per the bracket notation the result will still remain same if I say select from current you will see it will give me similar result right so that's pretty much all about the JSON path notation pretty simple pretty easy to memorize and learn so just make note of that there are two styles make use of any style that you're comfortable with so hope you like the tutorial please do share and subscribe thank you for watching